What's up guys, Adam Saxon, AKA Guy in a Cube here with another roundup. This is the week before Microsoft Ignite. So let's see what kind of pre-conference stuff there is. First up is a blog post from Chris Webb from Across the Pond where he looks at how you can actually pull in multiple Excel files into Power BI and still have the ability to refresh your files. He says that that's really the key. A lot of people have talked about how to do this, but he really focuses on how you can actually pull them in the right way to still be able to do refresh. So if you've been struggling with this or you're just curious on the approach that he used, be sure to check out this blog post. Time for some R in Power BI. So last Monday was National Talk Like a Pirate Day and I would be remiss if I didn't include an R item in this week's roundup. And I'm sorry, I still don't have an eye patch yet. Mike Carlo goes through how to actually use R visualizations inside of Power BI, and he comes at it from the standpoint of sometimes there's visualizations that you wanna use in your reports, but they're not part of the stock Power BI offering. This is a great post that just walks you through how to do that. And also be sure to check out Mike's blog in general. He just started this a few months ago and he's killing it. I've really enjoyed reading his blog posts, so check him out. Good job, Mike. Next up is a post on the Power BI blog that talks about how you can actually build a real-time IoT dashboard inside of Power BI. You don't have to use stream analytics anymore to do this. You can actually use what's referred to as a streaming data set and then use the REST API to just push that in. This blog post does a great job of walking you through how to use those features and how to get up and running. So if you're into IoT or you're just interested in how you can set up a streaming dashboard in general, be sure to check out this blog post. Time for some box love by way of reporting services. There is a new report builder that you can go ahead and download. And Ricardo talks about how this was really about getting aligned with the SQL Server Data Tools release cadence, as well as bringing in some items that you have submitted on the Connect site. If you're not familiar with Connect, Connect is a way that you can provide feedback directly to the product team. This is similar to the ideas area in Power BI, but the Connect area is focused on SQL Server Box product. One of the big things in this release is Report Builder's rescaling ability when using the Snap feature inside of Windows. The Snap feature allows you to pin windows to the left or to the right or in quadrants in Windows 10. I use that a lot with my big monitors, so I'm happy about that. Also, he talks about there were updates addressing some items that were on the Connect site with regards to shared data sets. So if you're using Report Builder, be sure to download the latest version of this and also check out the blog post to see what Ricardo had to say. A little more box love, this time for analysis services, specifically tabular models and SQL Server data tools. If you've ever developed a tabular model inside of SQL Server Data Tools, you're familiar with the need for a workspace server. And this is really just an analysis services server out there that you connect to to build your model with. Think of this as a development server. In this release of SQL Server Data Tools is the ability to have an integrated workspace. So this means that you no longer have to have that development server available to create your tabular model. That's huge. So, be sure you update to the latest version of SQL Server Data Tools and take advantage of this option. And check out the blog post for all the details from Kai. Okay, which item was your favorite? Go ahead and leave that in the poll up above or down in the comments below and let me know. And as always, the links for all the items are down in the description below as well. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this, and every Tuesday I do a technical item that may be relevant to you. Thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.